Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today we're going to make this card. Can you see all the embossing on it? This stamp is one of the single stamps that is available um, in the Autumn Winter Catalogue called Christmas Bauble. Um, it's quite a big one. Um, and I think it makes some, it makes some beautiful um, um, projects and you'll see all different colours on my blog but I thought I would show you this neutral one today um, with, done with a bit of embossing. Now when I was doing this um, I had a little play with some of the different colours of the neutral blend abilities. These are the skin tones and these are the ones called crumb cake. Now I'm going to tell you that if I was naming the crumb cake ones, I would be naming them espresso. They are dark, much darker than I would think of crumb cake, so I would call those espresso. So I have used both of these. Um, you could definitely get away with just using the skin tones ones, but I think just the espresso is going to produce quite a dark result. And you can see that you get, this is on um, very vanilla, this is on Sahara Sand, which is what we're going to colour in on today. And this is on um, Crumb Cake. Um, so you get a slightly different effect, depending on which, which uh, cardstock colour you colour in on. OK, so let's get started. I'm going to um, start off by stamping onto the... Sahara Sand cardstock. Now this is, uh, let's just have a measure, uh, three by five inches I've done this one. Now what I've done on my wooden block, can you see two little lines here? I've drawn these on with my um, Project Life marker to show where the edges of that are so that when I'm putting it down onto this narrower piece I can see where I'm going without having to get my stamp and check out. And I'm inking that up with my very grubby Versamark pad. And I'm going to put this down at the bottom of this panel. Now what I should have done is to use my embossing buddy. And I didn't. And um, those people who come to my classes will know that I am known for reminding them to use it after I've forgotten to use it myself. Hopefully we won't get too many little blobs where they shouldn't be, but those that we get I'm going to brush off before I emboss, before I heat emboss. There you go, can you see those little blobs there? If I'd used my embossing buddy, which is a little pad here, I wouldn't have got those. But I can get away with that this time, that's not too many. Okay, let's put this to one side and bring in my heat gun. And something to know, if you're, if you're um, embossing quite a few projects, so when I do embossing at class, the second um, and subsequent um, embossings go a lot faster because the heat gun itself needs to heat up. And can you see, woo, and it's off. Can you see it's going quite quickly now? I don't know how well you can see that. Um, under the camera, but you can see it's going gold. There we go. So if I was going on and doing another one, that would start a lot more quickly because the heat gun's already hot. That to one side. Pretty. And you could just leave it like that because it does look lovely, um, but we're going to do a little colouring. So I'm going back to my chart to remind me of the different colours um, that I used on here. And um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for a paler one um, than I used on this one here. I'm going to go for this one here, which is called Nude. I'm going to colour in here. Now, can you see, even though this is a very pale pinky colour, when it goes over the Sahara sand, we're getting quite a, a, a you know, a darker colour. So you need to be careful with those very dark ones, um, particularly on the crumb cake set, that if you're going over um, a coloured cardstock in particular, 
um, you might find that you're going a little darker than you wished. So I shall actually colour in all of those pieces on this bauble. It's slightly different to the other one. And I'm going for um, one of the darker ones. This is Mocha, also from um, the Skin Tone set. And just I'm just going to pick out some of these little pieces here. I'm using the fine end of the marker. A little bit over the edges there. Now something to bear in mind when you are embossing is that blend abilities will go over the top of embossed um, areas. They will actually um, colour over that gold if you're not careful. So you need to make sure with this you are staying inside the lines. I'm going to do my berries and I'm doing these in um, the darkest espresso. I want those to stand out. And I'm going to do the um, leaves. Let's see which one I'm going to use. I'm backwards and forwards here. I'm going to use the natural, I think, to start off with on the leaves. Let's see how that goes. Just colour over there. Then I'm going to go in with a with a. Um, Slightly darker colour. I'm going to go for the um, the blush. I think this will show up a bit darker. Maybe not quite enough. So I'm going to go a smidge and darker than that. Um, I think I will go for the bronze then. And just colour in. I'm not going to colour the folded pieces. Um, fold the pieces that are folded up. I'm going to leave those to kind of catch the light. There we go. And then the other marker I'm going to bring in here is the chalk marker. This is a lovely white marker that um, just picks up um, the white, picks up some white and, and just adds a little bit of um, something different. I can also with that put some shine on those berries. And as you can see it goes, I don't know how well you can see that, it goes very well over the darker colours. Okay, So a slightly different look between that one and that one. I've gone for the, the paler look on this one. I quite like that. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'm going to take a base card in... Um, this is... Soft Suede. Sorry. Sometimes the mind goes dead just for a moment. And the greeting that I'm going to use, the Christmas Wishes greeting, um, is the one out of Ornamental Pine. This one here. Very nice little font on that one. And I'm going to stamp that um, in. There we go. I'm going to stamp that um, in memento ink. And to finish off, I'm going to use some of this beautiful, beautiful gold satin ribbon. And if you like a bit of gold shine, there's also a silver one, I should say. I don't have the silver one to show you, unfortunately. Um, but the gold is just beautiful. I'm imagining the silver is just as lovely. Um, so I'm just going to give that a little trim. some Tombow on the back. I'll place 
that on there. So quite a straightforward and simple Christmas card and one if you did all the embossing you could sit quietly and do your colouring in front of the TV. So it would be one that you could do um, for you know quite a lot of Christmas cards. I know when we're doing Christmas cards you do need to take into account how long each one takes um, but I think that's lovely. I'm quite pleased with that. So I hope you've enjoyed your visit to Elizabeth's craft room today. I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love